Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well rising weekly tower reading, August 26th to September 1st, uh, 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump uh, right into it. All right, that's good enough, I guess. So, uh... <clears throat> the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Gemini, is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Two of Wands, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that you, it is advisable for you to follow you know that will is going to be the temperance card so according to these cards you are walking on a very very thin ice in regards to a certain thing okay uh, into your life it should be something quite major major that you are to very well understand what is in the line here right what are in what what is in stake should you fail or should you, of course, um, overcome the situation? So before we go into this and um, scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Seven of Wands, which is the topic, followed by the Two of Wands, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards is going to be the Nine of Swords, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And the final one here is going to be the Temperance, that is the guidance all right so seven of wands well the seven of wands is a card that could be interpreted in many ways especially when it stands on a um a prime position like the very topic one thing that the seven of wands tells us is that you should definitely be have or rather like yeah you should definitely have a readiness to act throughout the week but the thing with the seven of wands is, is that the best action can be only exerted in the right place and the right time as well. So it does tells us that there are, there is going to be a, a window of opportunity for you when you have to make your action. No, no sooner or no later than that. On the other hand, the Seven of Wands also tells us that there will be some sort of a, a internal struggle that you will have to undergo through. And also that internal struggle could be provoked by exterior temptation. For example, someone is ta taunting you, daring you to do something, saying that you can't do it, you know, and you are tempted to prove this person otherwise. Well, that's not a very good action that you can do here. Like we said, you know, these tauntings and temptations should be resisted so you can scope the right timing of you to act. And this is the thin, the thin eyes that you are going to walk over throughout uh, this week. The accompanied card here is going to be the um, Knight of Swords formation. It is a active friends that we do have. Well, uh, 
I can give you a credit for that. Is that it does look like that you're going to approach any kind of a situation that you're going to be involved in with a extreme amount of intelligence and agile perception as well, you know. So it, it is very unlikely that you are to be misled. Even though someone may attempt to mislead you, you know, and tempt you with a particular proposition or on or an offer or something like this you will be very agile into seeing you know what the situation is for what the situation is but uh also the knight of swords it does um how can i place it it also comes to decision making here and every time when there is a, a bad decision that you are uh, in danger of making uh, you are going to feel that there is something off that there is something wrong with it so your emotions are going to be very well aligned with your uh, with your logic as well which is going to give you a, a great help into recognizing the right moments of you to incorporate your actions the next card it is about the challenges that you need to overcome and this is the challenge of a um how do i say it impatience maybe yeah because you will very well understand throughout this week, you know, that although you you may be you are maybe sitting on a, a good achievements for yourself, you know, you may have your private business, you may have your relationship, or in generally you can be satisfied with where are you finding yourself right now in regards to certain endeavors. And uh simply that is not going to be enough anymore and uh, you will be eager to develop even further your skills your love your positions at work and all these kind of stuff and that is the temptation guys i mean you got to resist it i'm not saying that you can't develop those skills but you need to do it in a very cautious and as well intelligent fashion rather than a pushy and frantic one the accompanied card here is going to be the High Priestess and this is exactly what I'm talking about. We do have the active enemies here and the High Priestess. It is basically the whole thing, everything around you is going to provoke you to make an action while you need to be very clever, right? Clever and it's, it's like preying on, uh, it's like hunting a prey, all right? It's like, except that you are a lion in the steps, right? And you are hunt, hunting an, an antelope. So what the lion does, it's, uh, it lays low in the, in the grass, right? In the high grass and waits for the moment. Although it's tempting to pounce straight away, you know, it recognizes the right moment when it has to act. Otherwise, the prey is going to be, you know, kind of like the, the, the prey is going to um, escape. So this is what you are here, a lion that needs to catch up the prey. And there is only one moment that you can do the right move. And should you be patient enough and intelligent, you know, you are to recognize this moment. Impulsive is not the thing that you need to rely on throughout the week. And then we do have the positive aspect for you, uh, Gemini. That will be the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords here um, makes you very in tune with the consequences of the actions and what is in stake, just like I said, okay? And that furthermore is going to quench your, uh, your sense of, of urgency or rather like, yeah, the sense of urgency and the, self of, and the sense of self-preservation putting you breaks when the temptation is so strong, you know, that you are finding it very difficult to resist. And at that point, you are going to remind yourself, you know, what you can lose should you make, an, I would say, undeliberate decisions or um, not very well-founded kind of like decisions and actions as well. And this card also points that you are to overcome certain, I would say, fears of yours. You know, you may be afraid to act upon a specific situation or to say something to someone, you know, but you are going to find the right moment to do so without having to suffer the negative consequences of it. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups, the formation. It is a active neutrals. So you may have to... Um, 
get your hands dirty at a certain stage of the week going forward, all right? Now, everything that you will have to do here in order to, um, to grow in general is going to be from a pleasant nature. But um, that being said, uh, as a uh, active neutrals here with these couple of cards, it doesn't look like that is going to bother you that much, all right? Especially falling into a... Uh, a positive position simply because of your personal understanding that that thing just has to be done let's get over it you know and just let's just forget about it for example you know you may decide that you don't want to be in your relationship anymore but you, you can't find the right words and in and, and the right moment to escape from it to to serve your partner that you don't want to be um, together any longer well throughout this week because you understand what the consequences are going to be and you are patient and intelligent enough to uh, seize the right moments, this is going to go as painless as, um, as possible. Also, you have to get your hands dirty of serving this negative, negative news to your partner. And the last one is going to be uh, the temperance, which uh, it is the guidance that um, it's... Um, how can I place it? It's a um, it's a advisable for you to follow. And the temperance here tells us only one thing, that you shouldn't go to any extreme position, you know, either warmongery or completely subordinate, all right? You need to follow your own path. You need to be balanced in regards to your personal needs. That being said, as a balance, you shouldn't allow anybody to get into you or to scrape down your nerves you know neither you shouldn't you shouldn't adopt a position that you simply don't care as well so it, it's it's like again the lion all right um and the last one we do have the wheel of fortune wow so if you are patient enough you know and uh, strategically oriented enough uh you uh, you have here the opportunity to provoke a um a big change into your life for the better that is with these uh, with these two cards your life is to become much more peaceful and much more dappled with with options available and with opportunities as well for some of you this change is going to be once in a lifetime change it is simply as uh, the wheel of fortune says but <clears throat> you know should you be like i said balanced and, balanced and and strategically oriented you know things are going to go smoother than you have anticipated and additionally to that it is the the wheel of fortune offers you the luck of the draw so it looks like that uh, for you, Gemini, this week is going to be a, a pretty big one, all right? Um, you are to traverse a very difficult, I would say, threshold here that you have been hesitant to do so up until this moment from fear or from just not placing yourself into uncomfortable position, but now understanding what the, the, the real repercussions of your actions are going to be. You will have no problem doing it with the right measures, of course. So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, Gemini, for a um, August 26th to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.